What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Burly Fishing. Today we've got an on the water review that is partially on the water. It's not all on the water. <laughs> Here I am in my office doing the intro. So today we're taking the MTB Elite Box from October out on the water and I think you'll be surprised, <laughs> I know I was, by some of the results that we got. And then whatever we can't fish in this box, I'm gonna throw at the end of this video as an in the tank underwater footage view. That way you can at least see what that action is like. Before we get to the water here, real quick, if this is your first time stopping by the channel and you like the content, be sure to subscribe, smash the like on this video and ring that notification bell, all of which helps us out a ton. We got a giveaway coming up in just two days here too, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned. So be sure to stop back by the channel Wednesday, November 4th at 7 p.m. Eastern when that video drops. Make sure you're a subscriber, drop me a comment on that video and you'll have a chance to win our monthly giveaway. This month is a Busby Colony 15. It's a 3,600 size box full of baits from the unboxings this month. I've got a ton of bonus baits from this month from the plethora of boxes that we've gotten, so I wanna give some to you guys. So be sure to stop back by, drop the comments, and if you could, this helps a lot too, share the video. That way we can build up two bigger giveaways in the future and it'll be a lot of fun. Okay, let's get out on the water and hopefully catch some fish. We got, we got stuff to do. We got things, stuff and things. We're gonna do the chirping bait. Chirp, chirp. Let's do it. Black magic out of here. 100,000%. This should catch some fish right now, but we'll come back to her in a second. Let me try chirpy chirpy right here and see what happens. We are strapped. We are capped. We are ready to rack. Oh, it is cold as the dickens, people. The dickens. It's raining. It is ice cold about 35 is it oh you guys heat wave it's 38 degrees oh my goodness warmed up got got backup gloves in case my uh my old hands turn super pale and red oh gosh the rain just makes it so much better jeez louise i got a really deep section i can crankbait right here so I want to start that, and then we got a big drop off, off the point. I'll come back since Goosey McGee over there being so loud. So we'll start at the point, work my way around. Mind you, I haven't caught any fish on this damn lake in, uh, in a while. I haven't really been able to get the fish to eat on anything lately. There's some gills. So at least we're seeing some life there's some gills there to baby bass okay okay i see fish that's a first it's been a minute since i've seen any fish out here at all and uh i'm just gonna go out on my favorite little spot right here cool. we got a chirp and crankbait i was like can i just throw it off first try maybe I'll land a fish on this today. I'll take back some of the things. As I said, definitely not everything. We're just running this as shallow as I can right now because yeah, we're in the weeds already. The unfortunate part about bank fishing a crankbait. <laughs> You're going to get clogged up, homie. Still not hearing anything from this bait, by the way. I did everything I could to test this bait out. Put it in the water, listen to the side of the fish tank. Some people said wet your fingers, tried that, didn't work. So yeah, I'm out here trying to give this thing like 10, 15 casts and then we're gonna try some of the other baits I got. It's definitely easy to cast, it runs well. I'll give it points for being a crankbait but it ain't worth 13 bucks for that chirp system. Watch me nab like a monster pike, that'd be great. Ugh. Grr. Oh, I'll try that Yozuri next. We'll, tr we'll try the jerk bait. Fish that around a little bit. A couple different spots. You go with the jerk bait. Tying knots when you are cold is the worst thing ever. Things of all the things. All right. So we got the. Yozuri, crystal clear minnow guy. K 
cast her out there. I hear she runs kind of deep. Get out to better. Oh, yo, we're on. Yo, oh baby, oh baby, do not, do not. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ah. Get to shore, get to shore, get to shore, get to shore, get to shore. You have got to be kidding me, you guys. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my God. Oh my God. You guys, yo. Holy shoot. Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. Holy sh Holy I don't have pliers. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Holy shoot. You guys, I take everything back that I said. That was first cast. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Yo, are you, yo, are you freaking kidding me right now? Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, you guys, I cannot. Oh, I'm so freaking, oh my God, I'm so stoked. Look, I can't even get it on freaking camera. Holy crap. Let me, oh gosh, I wanna, just wanna rinse her a little bit. Hang on, hang on. Oh, he's not gonna. We're gonna let her go. We're gonna let her go. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Got her. No, 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 no. Not good, not ideal. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, oh. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Yo, Zuri. Good grief. Oh. <laughs> oh, she got me wet. She got me. Whew. She soaked the camera. Dang, dude. Just trying to keep her clean. She's a little bit heavy to hold one handed, so I couldn't give you a good view, but. Ha! Look at all the dirt. Look at all their kick up. And she just scooted into the darkness. <sighs> okay. Well, I owe everybody an apology about Yo Zuri. So here's the deal. This is what I just caught that freaking tank on. Wow. Oh, yeah. She, uh, she scratched her up, but it's together. Oh, there's that hook. Check that out. There we go. Front hook is bent. Dang it. Back travel's okay. Front hook is toast. I don't have my pliers on me because I was like, oh, there's no fish out here. You got it. You guys gotta be kidding me. I mean, I wasn't gonna keep her. I, I, if anything, I was gonna try and get a picture, but she was too big to hold with one hand, so it probably just broke her jaw. Not that dropping her on the ground was any better, but I didn't mean to. <laughs> Gosh, dude. This is easily, I couldn't even lay it next to anything. I'll check the footage, but that was my PB pike. That was the biggest pike I've ever caught. And it just came out of this tiny pond. <laughs> that freaking tank was in here. Oh, you people swim here? People swim here all the time. I really wish I could switch these trebles out, but also I kind of want to keep fishing this thing. Oh my gosh. This thing is sweet. I take back everything I said about this bait because it done, got it done. Thank you, Yozuri, for this thing.
<laughs> Baby Pike. Kind of like, it's got enough action. I kind of want to just reel and pause it. They're not super aggressive right now, so I don't really need the twitch. I gotta tell you, I haven't felt a fish on the end of my line in a minute. Oh my gosh, I owe you guys such an apology. It gets through the grass so well. <laughs> Shut up. This bait is dumb. Wow, guys, great bait, my opinion. <laughs> Let's try another crankbait, even though we know we're just getting hung up in the grass. So this is 100% not silent, but we're gonna give her the benefit of the doubt anyways. Try to run her out here. I've been seeing fish flopping around like crazy out there. There are fish way, way out there though. Let's go off the point. Better angle here. That's not surprising. Runs fine. Runs fine. Out of the box. Runs like it's supposed to. Runs down. Easy to cast. Don't know that it's truly silent. Man, it's just like random sporadic weeds out there that I keep running into, which sucks. Well, I'm not usually a big fan of running cranks from the shore unless I'm on a ledge. All right, we're done fishing cranks. Okay, this crank runs fine. Trebles are cheap, stand by that, they suck. And it's not silent. The end. PB Pike. Do, 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 PB Pike. All right, so this one's from the MTB box. This is that, was it the Biovex? Biovex. The Stan Gun. Chartreuse body and blades. Blades look dope in the water. Assuming you don't get clustered up with grass. Cast easy, it's quarter ounce. Spinnerbait should be the juice. If I can run the right, right spot. You see the weeds okay? We're just going spot to spot right now. As a spinnerbait, I like it. I'd love to catch some fish on it. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys. So since I didn't have a chance to test all these baits out on the water, I wanted to show you the last two, technically three, with the hook in the tank. So just at least that way you can kind of see how this thing looks. So this is that Dobbins Finesse Jig. And I paired that up with that Gambler Lures Craw. It's kind of what you're looking at as you're bouncing it along the bottom. I like the, the skirt on this finesse jig. It's pretty sweet. And it's a football jig again, so you're just kind of clanging and banging around with this thing. Dragging through cover, bouncing off of, you know, submerged wood and rock and things like that. The craw, I think it has a great scent, and I think it's going to attract fish. It's got a cool color, better for, in my opinion, dirty or stained water. But those claws aren't really doing much at all. So it's a super like low action, stiff, if you will, kind of craw. Interesting. So that's that one. I do like it. I like the jig, craw, take it or leave it. I think it looks all right. There you go. Might, it's probably more of a Ned rig, dead stick that craw, just like it's not going to move that much. Um, it's going to perform a little more like a net rig to me. So we definitely finesse rig that. We got this lizard, okay, which I actually rigged weightless here. Definitely an option you could go with. We'd probably end up, most people I think Carolina rig these. That's generally best use of a lizard, Carolina or Texas. So you throw a weight in front of that. But I figured weightless in the tank would give you a better look at the action here of those arms and that tail. So all around classic lizard style, great action. You know, you're, you're talking grub style, kind of ribbon, ribbon tails on these things. So 
it's going to have good action. They're flat plastic. It's going to move a lot in the water. I think it looks good. I like the look of the blue in the water too. All right, guys, there you have it. That's every bait in this MTB Elite box for the month of October 2020 fished out. We did catch that one fish, and here I am to eat my words. That Yozuri friggin' banged. <laughs> that Yozuri, there's that hook that's super doing doing good. It's a healthy hook right there. Bent that hook a little bit. Giant pike on that thing. PB pike for me, guaranteed. I had no doubt in my mind it was. Wish I had had something to measure it with, but I was there just kind of like, eh, nothing's going to bite. Let's go for it. It was a surprise pike, a surprise slimy monster to say the least, but I was super pumped about it. So I'll eat my words. I said that bait looked cheap. I said it didn't look good. Some people were like, bro, it's great bait in the comments. And uh, to that, I say, you are correct. You were right. And I'm here to eat my words. I don't care. I'll eat my words. That pike ate that bait. I'll eat my words. That's fair. Uh, and that happens from time to time, but that's why I do the on the water review or potentially in the future here, the in the tank underwater reviews. That way I can see how these baits actually perform and if they catch fish. And the one I wasn't too surprised about, actually, I'll say this. This thing fished well as a crank. So if I ignore the fact that it's got that EBS electronic bait system in there and fish it like a crank, it's a dope crank. I think it looks all right. I think it fishes really well and I think it will catch fish. And I'm just going to pretend that uh, there's no EBS in it because it's... Uh, it doesn't work anyways. So <laughs> considering the EBS is broken, I guess I don't have to worry about it. So there you go. All right, guys, hopefully this video is helpful for you, especially if you're on the market looking for some good subscription boxes. This box was not bad, not bad at all. And of course, if this is the first time you're stopping by the channel and you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Smash a like on this video, ring that notification bell, and we'll see you guys out on the water.